Hello YouTube, I just wanted to show the two things I made, actually four but the other two you saw already. So the first one is this here and this is just the front piece of an enclosure for my OLED scope and I did not design this. A customer of mine who bought it did design it and he sent me the files for it. Let me put a little light on here so you can see it better. And it says Olodiscope on the top. It's, I printed this with a 0 0.2 resolution. I will reprint it again. I just want to see how it looks and I will print it again with a 0 0.1. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is just the front and I will eventually redesign it a little bit or design one from scratch because uh, on my new PCB the navigation switch moved down a little bit. I don't know it seems it has still enough room in here. It's only gonna get pushed in anyway but and I had to cut off a little bit from this place here because obviously my 3 pin connector moved a little bit too but other than that it fits in there nicely and this is let me take it out real quick it just snaps in place he did a great job thanks again for sharing the file with me actually I uploaded this on my Tindy page so you can download it too and print it yourself I will offer some for sale also for people who don't have a 3D printer and so they can have it too but it's really nice so this is only my fourth print <laughs> I'm kinda little proud of myself to get actually I'm glad that the printer is performing this well and anyhow, this is my Oledino scope. Let me plug it in, in there again. No, I guess it was not the right pins. Here we go. And now let me show you the other thing I did. And this is oh, one second. Let me get it off the clock. Okay. This is an enclosure I found on Thingiverse, and it's just a case for a 0 0.96 inch OLED display. The ones I use for my cubes. And this is actually a printer, I mean, no, <laughs> an enclosure. It has a holding thing in the back that gets connected or clipped on to a, I think, 8 inch round rod. I think it is. So, this is for 3D printers, this enclosure. So, you can have your display wherever you want it. And I just wanted to see how it looks and printed it and attached it to my clock this is my first version with the switch on the side and it got obsolete now since I have the other one but I just use it at home so as you can see look there goes my light like this, uh, this is it or actually my USB LED light connected to a uh, what do you call those things charger portable charger anyhow this is how the screen looks like when it's on inside and I kinda like this I might make these for some other projects obviously it won't fit in this so 
I will make my own design for my Oladino clock and my Oladino GPS and some other things. And yeah, this is the oops, I'm hitting it again. This is just a display case. And the second print was this small wheel or grip, it's for a SMA connector. So you can grip it with your fingers and screw your antennas and connectors on and off easily. So I just want to see how it prints and it's not bad at all. I can live with that. I'm actually surprised at the quality this poor printer can produce because <laughs> the bed is just connected on the back with two screws towards the, I mean, to the whole thing and let me show you real quick so this the bed here is connected on the other side of these two rods to the back and that's all so you can move it to the left and the right i mean it's unbelievable but i guess through its weight it's not moving during printing so anyhow uh, what else did I want to show anything else right now I think this was it I didn't print much yet so anyhow uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned there is much more to come thanks for watching take care